In today's video, I'll show you how you can create this transition in between two different videos using the new Generative Fill tool from Adobe inside After Effects. So let's start by dragging our videos into After Effects and creating a new composition. I'll be using two clips from a fellow drone pilot, Eamon Jenkinson. Let's begin by creating some cool speed ramps for each video. Right-click the first video, go to Time, and enable Time Remapping. Create a few keyframes at the points where you want the video to play faster or slower. Select all the keyframes and press Command-click on one of the keyframes. Bringing them closer together will make the video play faster. The graph editor gives a better representation of this. Hover over each keyframe to view the current speed of the video at that point. If you want the video to maintain its original speed after the speed ramp, the value of the second keyframe should be 1. You can change this manually by clicking and dragging the keyframe up or down on the graph, or hitting right-click, keyframe velocity, and adjusting the value here. This way, the speed ramp will only affect the first two keyframes. But in my case, I'll experiment with the speed to find what works best for me. Once you've done this, trim the end of your video at the last keyframe and repeat the process with the next video. If you're interested in mastering the graph editor, let me know in the comments and I'll make a separate video on that topic. So here's what we've got so far. If you're experiencing dropped frames like this, that means some of your keyframes velocity values are below 1, so make sure all of them are playing at a value of at least 1. Now let's export the last frame of the first video. Place the playhead and hit B and N on your keyboard. Then go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, and export it as a JPEG sequence. Return to the composition, hit Command and the right arrow key to jump to the next frame, then hit B and N again, and export the image. Now, we'll use Adobe's Generative Fill tool, which you can access either in Adobe Firefly or inside Photoshop Beta if you have an Adobe subscription. I'll use Photoshop as it's easier for me. Import the first image. Click on this lock icon to unlock the layer, create a rectangle, and in the Properties panel, adjust the transform values to these ones. Center the rectangle on the image, Take the bottom layer and scale it down until it matches the size of the rectangle. Hit Command and click on the thumbnail of the bottom layer to make a selection. Go to Select, Modify, Contract, and set it to 5 pixels. Invert the selection by going to Select, Inverse, then simply hit Generative Fill and Generate. Choose the option you like the most and save the image. Now merge the original image and the generative fill layer by going to Layer, Merge Layers, or pressing Command E. Repeat this process a few times. You can also use prompts if you want. Great, now repeat the process with the image from the second video. Now that we have that, Take the first zoom out image, go to Image, Canvas Size, and set the width to 6585 pixels. Set the anchor point to be on the left center. Now move the image to the right and import the zoom out second image. Select the gap between both images with the rectangle tool and hit Generative Fill. If you're not happy with something, select that part and generate again. Do the same with the sides. Then save the image. Let's now import the images from the first clip and drag them to the composition. Now we need to link them. Ensure they are in the correct order. Select the first frame and hit S to bring up the scale property. Then adjust it to 33.33. .33. As you can see, we need to create a mask on the borders to merge both images. Select the first layer and double-click the Rectangle tool. Then expand the mask properties, 
reduce the mask expansion and increase the mask feather. After that, link the first layer with the one below. Repeat this process with the rest of the layers in the correct order. Change the scale, copy the mask from the first layer with command C, and paste it onto the second layer with command V. Then link the layer to the one below. Repeat this process with all layers except the last one. Now let's import the transition image between both images. Lower the opacity to see the layer below and try to match the position of the layer. Move it to the bottom and link the last image to this layer. Now you can see that by increasing the scale of this layer, we will go through all the previous layers up to the first one. So we need to repeat this process with the other generated images. Then match the position of this image with the transition image and link them. As you can see, all the images are now linked. So let's move on to the animation. Go to Layer, New, Null Object, and let's name it Zoom. Select the Out image and under Parent and Link, select None. Now hit P and S and copy the values. Then click on the Null object and paste the values using Command V. Select all the image layers except the Null object and the second layer and parent them to the Null object. Now select the Null object, hit P, right click on the position property and hit Reset. Now unlink the layer called In and link the Null object to it. Perfect! Now let's animate the scale of the Null object. Create a keyframe, move to the beginning of the comp and increase the scale while holding Shift on your keyboard. Try to match the size of the first image using these lines as reference. Ease the keyframes and use the graph editor to edit the speed curve. Now select the second layer, hit P and create a keyframe. Move the playhead, right click on the position property and hit reset. And try to create a speed curve like this. Then animate the scale of this layer, create a keyframe, move the playhead and reset the scale property. If you're having issues with the speed graph, you can switch to the value graph by hitting right click here and selecting edit value graph. If you want to speed up the entire animation, select all the keyframes, click and drag the last one while pressing the Option key and move it to the left. Let's also animate the rotation. Create a new null object, link the in layer to the rotation null, and then animate the rotation property. Now take all the image layers and nulls, trim the end, and pre-compose them. Now simply put the transition between both videos. Don't forget to enable motion blur for all layers inside the composition. Let's preview what we have. To smooth out the transition, we can create an adjustment layer on top of the final comp and add a few effects. The first one is Optics Compensation. You can simply animate the point of view property at the beginning and at the end of the transition. This way you get a nice distortion effect. Another cool thing is to add a shake to the second video. So add two slider effects to the video layer Name the first one Frequency and the second one Intensity. Now press Alt click on the stopwatch in the position property of the video and type Wiggle, open parentheses, 
and then drag the spiral icon to the frequency slider. Now type a comma and drag the spiral icon to the intensity slider. Now change the frequency to 10 and create a keyframe in the intensity value. With the video layer selected, press U to see all the animated properties. Move the playhead a few keyframes and increase the intensity. Then move forward on the timeline and change it to zero. Play with the values and the speed curves of the keyframes. Then add a motion tile effect to fill the border gaps. Increase the output width and height and check mirror edges. Perfect, let's review the final video. You can always generate again the images in Photoshop, return to After Effects and in the Projects panel, replace them one by one to get a different transition between both videos. I will leave the source files for this project in the description of this video. I have also uploaded the project files of my original video from Instagram to my Patreon page. There you can also download different project files of really cool transitions for just $5. So that's all for this video. Thank you and stay tuned for more.